Hello, those of you who have watched my previous videos on this water cooked gaming rig will notice that it looks quite a lot different now. Uh, reason being, obviously, the GPUs have finally arrived and have finally been water cooled. Now, these are EVGA's 1080 Ti FTW3 GPUs, which were the last to hit the market across all the 1080 Ti brands. Now, to put things in perspective, when I first built this PC and water cooled it back in February 2017, the uh, 1080 Ti's were, were just rumors that were unconfirmed by Nvidia. And I had to wait, so I had to wait for, for, for them to actually be, be released. And, and then EVJ was always the last of all the manufacturers to release them, and the FTW3 was the last to, to, to be released by them and consequently this water box by EKWB were also uh, the last to be released so it was a very long wait but it's it's worth the wait so what have I done to the loop to, to, to accommodate the new GPUs I've had to install this CE280 radiator from EKWB and this this uh, radiator is from what I understand the best in the 280 uh, millimeters capacity or size rather so in order to accommodate this radiator I've had to move the hard drive cage from here to here because of the required clearance and as a consequence the the pump being uh, mounted horizontally uh, on top of, of an unused fan previously had to be relocated to its current vertical position and according to EK it's uh, they actually recommend mounting mounting these pumps in front of a radiator or a fan because of the the heat sinks here uh, being able to provide passive cooling to, to the motor when exposed to an airstrip and these pumps get very hot uh, in normal use so it's, it's a good idea to do that. Um, the other things that, that I've done are uh, uh, I've, I've converted this connection here from, from what was uh, a sharp uh, uh, band using just the the normal tubes and that uh, then tended to kink up at right at the top because of the the, the sharp uh, band angle so i've removed that and now what i've done is i've installed two of these 90 degrees angled fittings to reduce the band angle on this uh, tube to zero so i've also changed out the two fans here from from what was the uh, high airflow corsair 140 millimeter, uh, yeah, 140 millimeter fans that that came with the casing, and this is, in case you don't recognize it, this is the Corsair 750D casing. So because of the introduction of the radiator, I've had to swap these fans out for this um, high static pressure EK Vada F2140 fans instead. Uh, so the way this works now is the radi sorry, the reservoir here, which is the same reservoir as before. So the reservoir will feed the pump through this loop here and and the pump will then feed the the, the 280 millimeters radiator from this uh this connection here which I've also used um two times 45 degree angle fittings there to reduce the to reduce the king angle on this this tube to almost zero and and after the uh, the the coolant flows through this this initial uh, radiator, it would then exit from here and fit this serial uh, terminal block that will first cool the secondary GPU by sending the coolant round. Uh, after which the coolant will exit through its exit port here and enter the primary GPU at the top, and it would then cool that one and. And then the coolant will exit here and it will feed the motherboard's water block that comes pre-installed with the motherboard after which the the coolant will will exit and finally cool the cpu water block before being sent up to the existing x e360 radiator so there's a fan missing from here because there isn't sufficient clearance to install fan with the motherboard's water block in the way now these are the slowest F1 120cm fan and just before ending this video I just want to say that with this setup even with the front fans speeding at 
at its slowest possible speed of 330 RPM. I'm getting 30 degrees lower temperatures on these GPUs, keeping in mind that the FDW3s come with the world's best or the industry's best air coolers anyway, which are the three fan ACX asymmetric cooling system by EVGA. And these are the only cards in EVGA's range that come with these three fans and they are all controlled individually by the GPUs and the memories and the VRMs uh, temperature sensors. Uh, and before I was getting temperatures as high as 85 to 90 degrees when there isn't sufficient airflow when I, and, and I'm playing games like Battlefield 1 or running benchmarks or even when I spun all these fans up to the maximum speed I was getting temperatures as high as 75 to 80 degrees but now I'm getting uh, temperatures of um, maximum 45 degrees even with these two fans meaning at just 330 rpm so this is leaving proof that that when people say modern air coolers are as good as water cooling that that is simply not true um, as you can see with this uh, very very slow spinning fans in front and this simple cooling setup I'm able to achieve temperatures 30 degrees lower than before all right thanks for watching